stones. It's in front of you. Find it. The metal. The runes. You need that. So Where is it? Find, find it. it. There it is. Focus. There's the shard. Focus. Focus. Use your eyes. Look. Get closer. What can you see? Go to it. It's I want safe. to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe.
Dillion. There he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through. Go through before he disappears. Dillion. Where is he? Where is he going? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian told her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glue. And Senno explored new paths into the unknown. He's the reason she keeps fighting. Do you remember the way he looked?
Feast and rejoice, and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe. Baldur's mother confesses, I thought it was too young. Oh dear. tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Years have passed Baldur. since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns. Shapes movement, an intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love, but the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds, that of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. 
If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Balder was never my friend, she says. Let Hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron. in you.
like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. Then he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world. You and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. <laughs> or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? <sighs> A gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. It's done. You did it. But there's more. 